make a wish for uh, five more, uh, five thousand more subscribers. Okay. Yeah. Hey guys, James here with another mukbang. If you guys like this video, give us a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Today we are celebrating a very special occasion. It is my one year anniversary on YouTube. Yay! So we have a feast prepared. Mark actually was really sweet and picked up a cake. So I think we should do the cake first, Oh, right? okay. Yeah, I got you a cake to celebrate your one year. Can't believe it's been a year already. Yeah. Oh. What kind of cake is this? I thought it was red velvet at first, but I don't think it is. No, it, uh, it says a uh, chocolate cake filled with strawberries. 100% organic. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's light it let's up. Light yeah. This. About to get lit up in here. What do we do? Do we sing? Uh, I don't think there's any singing. Do we sing happy birthday? No. Happy anniversary? No. Let's just. Let's blow it off together. No, I think you should blow it. It's your YouTube channel. Okay. Okay. Make a wish for uh, five more, uh, five thousand more subscribers. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Thank you. Okay, I'll put this away. <laughs> so on the way home, uh, I dropped by a seafood restaurant and picked up some house special Where'd lobster. You go? Where'd you go again? I don't remember the name exactly, but I think it's called King Harbor. So this, what it's um, about four pounds. I called before uh, to find out how much it was. It was about $15 a pound. So they said four pounds is more than enough for two people. So that's what I got here. And we also got some uh, salt and pepper shrimp. So unfortunately we can't fit everything in the frame, but we'll just periodically this show you. This guy's good. Yeah, and it also came with a little bit of, I think lemon, Lemon juice yeah, here. That for us. And then I also ordered some rice because this could get very, um, I guess, salty after, you know, too much of just eating it. So some white rice and also underneath the lobster, you guys probably can't see it as well yet, but there are garlic noodles. Mm. So I made sure I added some of those as well. So I think this is very fitting uh, for a celebratory meal just because at least for Vietnamese people, we like to eat, uh, you know, this kind of lobster for special occasions like weddings. Uh, we just ate it for my nephew's graduation. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, this is probably the most fitting thing to eat for a one year so, celebration. So what they do is they um, have like live lobsters in the tank inside the restaurant, right? Yes. And they usually bring it out to see if you like it. So yeah. It's really fresh. It is very fresh. I call the head because I personally, I think you too, we don't like looking at our food before we eat it. <laughs> if it's living especially. So I called ahead and I said, just pick a four pound one. So we are very grateful for this um, Thank you. This lobster. So I think we can dig in. We have some tongs here if you don't want to pick it with your hands. Okay. Uh, I'm going to just go with this one. So it's very convenient. They like chopped it up for you too. So you don't Actually, really have I'll to. Actually, rice first. Oh, okay. That makes sense. We also have some beer. God, they give you a lot of rice. Yeah, uh, so I tipped them like five bucks and then as soon as I did that, she was extra nice to me. So she gave us dessert as well. Ooh. Like the Vietnamese kind of, um, like tapioca dessert. You know, I was so busy today at work that I didn't even eat lunch. <laughs> so what oh, a great, be... what a great day not to eat lunch, huh? Delicious for you. Because I'm so hungry right now and everything smells really good. You can just start. No cake. <laughs> no cake. Come here. Head is all sniffing the cake. I had one uh, shrimp before you got home, though. I couldn't resist. <laughs> That's okay. It's your, it's your <laughs> celebration. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna. Mm. They use a lot of butter 
or something in this. And my entire car, I forgot to roll down my windows when I got out earlier, but it smells like onions right now because there's a lot of onions in here as well. But you know what? I don't mind the aroma. <laughs> as long as I don't smell like it, but I might. You would buy a car air freshener with the smell. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Very meaty piece that I got. Did you get one? No, I got a, I got like the bony part. Mmm. You should get like this one you'll appreciate. Mm. See like and then there's the head too, which maybe I should do this so you, it's like more prominent. So has it, does it feel like it's been a year already? Mm, no, actually, to be honest, I feel like I just got my footing. I used to film all of them like back there. Oh, yeah. And then I think that was like the first season of this uh, channel. And then it evolved to coming here. And then, you know, once you got me the microphone and then I started understanding lighting a little bit better and then just even how to present food, then I felt like, okay, I'm stepping up my game. But I think that's why I've been enjoying it so much is because I feel like there's always something else to like learn or improve on. So what's next? What's, what's the next upgrade? Hmm. I think, I mean, I have to be conscious because our wedding's around the corner, but really massive amounts of food. That's an upgrade? I feel like that's an upgrade. We haven't done that really. I mean, probably people out there are thinking like we're eating way more than we should, but in general, compared to other mukbang people, I think they eat way more than I do. Like having a whole spread of food. Mm -hmm. Well, I think I said this in a previous mukbang, but if you're to do that, you would need to starve yourself like that whole week and you say you don't even, you, you don't have the willpower to do that. No, I don't. <laughs> um, and actually another upgrade is since you joined, because you were very resistant to like appearing. People didn't even I'm know you existed. I still kind of am. <laughs> How? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going to reach over. Go ahead. I should probably show them. I feel like I'm just gonna use my hands all day. That's okay. Cheers. Mm. Cheers. Happy anniversary. Thank you. Do you have like your like top three takeaways from your first year experience? Mmm. Takeaways, huh? Or yeah. I guess I'm not as uncomfortable talking in front of the camera. Actually, the first time I ever filmed the mukbang, you weren't even home. Because mm -hmm. I felt even just weird doing it while you were in the office. I think you were still at work. So, I actually don't really care that the camera's there anymore as much. Mm. Yeah, I don't... I don't really know what other takeaways I might have. Well, I think one um, kind of a good benefit is um, you made some really good friends mm -hmm. through this. So last night, I swear, I was going to do a couple shout outs, but then it started getting overwhelming and I didn't want to leave, leave anyone out. So I'm probably going to leave some links down below in the description. But there are a few people that stand out, so I, don't, I guess I'm going to still shout them out anyhow. Okay. So, first, uh, Heather, oh, you know, Heather, yeah. Heather is the reason why I'm like filming and not feeling as bashful. So just create. Give her, <laughs> give her props. You guys should definitely check out our channel. She really inspired me to not be afraid of being in front of the camera mm -hmm. and doing something that I really enjoy now. So, sorry, I have like a little like shrimp shell. Mm. So there's Heather. I also want to shout out to Views on the Road. 
Yeah. She's been like my uh, inspiration. I started off like really small and she um, encouraged me along the way, gave me tips. We did a collaboration. We did an Indian right. mukbang. And then now we uh, message each other on like, I Instagram remember and whatnot. Hot Cheetos mukbang. That was pretty cool. That is one of her most uh, popular videos right now. Oh, yeah. good. Oh, good. And um, the other person I want to shout out is Tian, which Mark actually got to meet as well. So we hung out a few times in real life, which was really awesome. But he's like in Iceland right now, so he probably won't even be watching this. But just want to shout him out too, because he also is very uh, good about like teaching me different things re oh. related to like how the food should be presented, how things should be eaten. So those are the ones that I want to shout out to. Obviously, there's so many more of you guys, especially the ones that like comment on all of my videos. So, Fluffy, Superfly, Linda, <laughs> it sounds Jasper. Like, I mean, it sounds it's like just, an award speech right now. That's yeah. why I feel bad. I don't want to start name dropping and then missing anyone. But you guys are all awesome. So thank you so much for um, sticking through with me for the whole year. Yeah, uh, I do want to validate that James do appreciate you know, all his friends on YouTube. Um, he likes you guys more than he likes me, so that says a lot. <laughs> That's not true. Thank you. So these are the garlic noodles? Yes. Oh, got it? Yeah. Ooh. So, yeah, you kind of see that. How's everything so far? It's good. Again, I didn't eat lunch today, so oh. I'm starving. Oh, this one's a really good one. You should eat that one. Actually, these ones are all good. This one look intimidating. You should grab that one. This one's good too. For you. So, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of times we'll eat this for special occasions like weddings and graduations, but obviously a whole table fits like 10 people. So, I think this is extra special because we don't have to share as much. Not that I mind sharing in general, I mean, that might be a half truth. But with the table, you get like, like one more other courses. Yeah, but I mean, again, I love the lobster and then it just sucks that you only get like one piece. Yeah. In another video, the Alaskan King Crab one, people suggested that I do more lip smacking. I've never heard of that term before. So if you had a guess, does that like, like as I'm eating? Maybe like the, the Walsh's girl. Like, mm. what does she say? Like, I can't believe that's great. Or I don't know, what, what, what does she say? She just drinks it and goes, Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking yeah. about. Well, when you said I can't believe that's great, that sounded like I can't believe it's not butter, and then you just... I think I'm mixing commercials up together. Some... <laughs> Sometimes the lobster has eggs, but this one, unfortunately, I don't think has any. Can you just put, like, a couple shrimp on my plate? Mm -hmm. Want some jalapenos? Yeah, I'll take some. I want to say the jalapenos is one of my favorite part of this. Dish. That dish? Yeah. yeah. Are they spicy? Mm -mm. Can you come up here? Up. Go up here. Sit. Oh, it's going to fall off. Hedu's been in mukbangs too. I filmed the mukbang of him, but I never posted it. <laughs> you should have him eat with you, like something that's like also dog friendly, like chicken breasts and mm. brown rice. Well, remember he did eat in my KFC video, but I didn't know. Like, I might as well just eat the noodles with my hands. Are there any um, 
favorite videos you that stands out to you mm. of your of your own? When you mean like just me? I mean just one of your videos. Mm. What was like the most fun? Most fun, huh? I'm trying to think of the ones where I had that like, oh my god, this is so good on camera, but I'm trying to remember which. I mean, the Alaskan King Crab, even though it's so recent, it was literally my last mukbang. I really enjoyed doing that one because I felt like even if I didn't talk, like people could tell like what I was thinking because mm. it was so good. Um, it was memorable, but not the tastiest, but our anchovy pizza one. Like, again, I, it just showed, like, how little I can hide in things. And then the way you react to things is you just laugh it off. <laughs> but me, I was, like, really unhappy in that video. Probably those ones, I'd say. Do you think mukbangs are as weird as they were a year ago? I never thought they were weird. No. How about ASMR? I know you've been kind of iffy about that. I think I still need to understand it more. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that should be your like new venture. So I filmed two, and then I rewatched it, and then I just deleted it. Like even you off the computer. You did an ASMR? Mm -hmm. What'd you do? Burp? No. Burp. <laughs> um, you brought you brought like an ice cream or something to the office one day, and then I was like in there, so I was like, oh, let me, let me just try to film one, and I ate something, and I didn't talk. It was really zoomed in, and I was oh, just you like, eating ice cream. Mm -hmm. It was dessert. I don't know if it was ice cream though. What kind of sound does that make? Like like me? Mm-hmm. I didn't know you filmed it. I want to watch the, the footage. I think I, I told you I deleted it because <laughs> I felt so embarrassed. Mmm, the jalapeno is spicy. Or the one I bit into at least. Mmm, the fire noodle challenge was memorable the day after. <laughs> Not in a good way. Ugh. And I never ate the times two spicy packet because every time we have a party here, Mark thinks it's the greatest idea to convince people to try it. Everyone and everyone's it. always down because, again, people are drinking and so there's less resistance to any suggestions that even might be like outlandish. And yeah, everyone's been okay. Yeah. They've been good. I probably shouldn't use the tongs because my hands are all greasy, so then if I use it, then you won't be able to use it, huh? What would you use it for now at this point? Oh, to grab noodles. Um, so do you want to? Yeah, I just grab. I used to be so bad eating with, oh, with my um, hands that today is a special treat because I don't care. But after I met Mark, I was really good about only using like these. But I think when you first met me, like, I would eat everything with all my hands. Or, not, I only have two, but you know what I mean. Like, all, all my fingers. fingers. Yeah. I didn't ask you to change. You didn't ask, but I could tell. <laughs> the noodles aren't, like, super garlicky, right? Mm-mm.
<laughs> That's ASMR? That's ASMR, I think, the noises. Oh my god. I feel like you should have at least a bite of this. Because I worked so hard to get it out. Oh, I was going to feed you it. He's so bold wearing like a white shirt. I told him mm. to change and he still like kept it on. Mmm. Very meaty. Is that the claw part? It looks like it, huh? Yeah, maybe. The arm. Mm. Look at Hattie's paw. <laughs> He's like pushing me. Come to think of it, I, I'm not sure about your YouTube watching habits, but do you watch any mukbangs at all? Here and there. What? Why are you smiling? <laughs> Especially yours. Oh, I know. I've heard the echo from the restroom as you watch it. <laughs> Do you remember what my first mukbang was? I won't be mad if you don't remember. I remember because I asked you not that long ago and you told me. Oh, really? Spaghetti, like pasta. Yeah. I need to get loaded up on more shrimp, please. <clears throat> it's like doing a lens flare thing on this video, so it's going to go like in and out of brightness. And uh, I don't know if you've noticed. Uh, it's because the sun's setting. It does that. Well, that's the way it's focusing. I think I told you this before, but I'm really good at drawing lobsters. <laughs> Do you remember this or no? What's the context again? So in third or fourth grade, we had to write like a story. And I want to say, this is my theory. I want to say it was around the same time Saved by the Bell came out with that murder mystery episode where they're at that mansion. and mm, It's kind of Clue. It's like Clue, yeah. exactly. And the story I had written, someone got murdered because they ate a poisonous lobster. So I remember having to draw the lobster multiple times for like my book cover and yada 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 and then because I drew it so many times like got really good at it well now you have to show people your lobster skills <laughs> your lobster drawing skills I think it gets bright when we both look down because it doesn't know where it's focusing. So watch. When we both look down. Well, how can we see? Well, look up. You look up first. Was it bright? I can't tell. Oh. Put that theory to rest then. Kind of full, but I can keep going. Hmm. <laughs> I 
head is right behind us. What do you think I should do next on this channel? You should eat the tail. Mm. Mm, I'm gonna eat this. No, no. Weren't we gonna do a chicken nugget race? I want to do a, um, a drinking one with you. I think that'd be fun. Like how much drinking though? Yeah, we just drink the, the whole time. Well, come to think of it, before we, like we really got deep into this mukbang thing, we did, we used Facebook Live and we drank and remember people were like watching us for a good hour and we made them play charades. Yeah. <laughs> but there was lag. <laughs> it was a very interesting what, Friday night. I'm going to need more noodles when you get a chance. <sighs> I pulled out the little claw piece here. The noodles kind of got stuck. That just reminded me, oh wow, <laughs> of um, ramen burgers. And I don't think I ever ate one before. Have you? Mm -mm. I had a rice burger in Korea. Mm. The patties are rice? No, the, the bun's rice. Oh, sorry. <laughs> when I said patty, I was thinking of the bun. No, the, yeah, the bun's rice. Um, yeah, that was one food trend that took me a while to get into. I haven't eaten anything unicorn themed yet either. What? There's only that Starbucks drink. No, there's um, there's a bagel. Oh. There's um, yeah. the stuff at the fair. There's a bunch of things at the fair this year that are unicorn. I didn't. I mean, I only saw the unicorn leg, but I didn't really see mm -hmm. anything else. But the unicorn leg didn't even have the color, right? So it was just a shape. Yeah, it was I think. just a pork leg. It didn't look appetizing. Looks like I'm wearing lip gloss right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, new uh, business idea. <laughs> Make lip gloss out of the oil from the lobster dish. And then it'll get plump if you're allergic. <laughs> <laughs> we went to LA this past weekend because we needed to return a piece of furniture. Uh -huh. You want to tell the story? And then it was missing like a piece that we didn't know and they wouldn't accept our return request. Yeah. So we just left it there. <laughs> we just forfeited because we can't use it here, but they won't give us our money. So what can we do? And then the next morning, Mark was like digging around at like, I don't know, seven or eight in the morning trying to find the piece. Secretly though, I was kind of glad that you didn't find it because driving up there and back was like two and a half hours. I was just like, that would have been two and a half hours from our Sunday. Mm. But there's a bunch of stuff that you got to see in person at the store that I really like. You didn't even, because I think the plan was to come back the next day so you could pick it up. So <laughs> are you going to even get those things? I might just order them online. There were these, what kind of shot glasses are they? Are they shot glasses? Mm -hmm. They're the old school shot glasses. Like, I feel like I I've, seen, 
I've seen them in Downton Abbey. Are they in that or no? Maybe. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like old school style. Mm -hmm. It looks like a very miniature wine glass. I'm giving you the ones that are like easier to pluck out. <laughs> this one is like, there's no way. You, well, I guess there's a way. Oh, your next purchase purchase should be one of those lights, those fancy lights. Yeah? Yeah. This light seems to be fine though. Yeah. So when I ordered rice, I said, oh, rice, like, can I get two orders of it? Because she said the rice was like one order a person or something. And then when I said two, she was like, oh, but you're also getting noodles. And I'm just like, well, it's, it's different. Like, they're not trying to get you to order more. They're just making sure that you order just enough. But I feel like that's opposite of sales 101. But I, I also kind of felt like I can, like, we can eat the extra portion, like, let me decide. I don't know why I get so offended when people do that. It could be like those few times when like the server would make fun of us for the amount of food we ate or would come back and be like flabbergasted that we finished all our food. Or we could just be porkers and we're the, we're the weird ones. <laughs> I guess so. Two sides to every story, right? Yes, you, that's the first thing you learn in the history major. Oh, there's so much meat in this one, I can't get it out. You know, one thing that I always like to get, but then I'm always usually disappointed are lobster rolls. Like, um, the sandwich lobster rolls. They end up being like, I don't know, 20 bucks a sandwich, and then uh, for some reason I just haven't found a lobster roll that I really like. I'm just afraid that it would just have a lot of mayo. Mm hmm. Looks like you went fishing and it caught some. Mm -hmm. Well, the little claw came with it. So when I do this, I feel like about like <laughs> I feel like you make fun of me every time you see me do something like this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, 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 oh. What do they do? They stick <laughs> like a stick and then they eat the termites or yeah. is it ants. I think termites. You know, um. For the longest time, scientists thought that primates were the only animal besides humans intelligent enough to use tools to get food. Mm -hmm. But they recently tested and determined that ravens, like the bird ravens, really, they're just as intelligent, but no one really considered them because they were not primates. Mm. But they're super smart animals. Did they? Like they use different, I, they use tools to get food. I feel like you showed me a video one time, mm. and it was like a bird. I don't remember if it was a raven, and they were trapped, and they used something to like get the food. Yeah, or it was a raven. It was a raven. Yeah. Oh, no. Does Heidi know how to use a tool? I do. No, sit. Stay. He probably hates that I do mukbangs because the food's even closer to him than normal. <sighs> Is 
Are you waving the white flag? I mean, we're pretty much done. Here, let me see if there's a good piece for you. Oh, this one. There's like this meat there. I need to figure out a way for me to film these mukbangs here when they're, especially the long ones like this one, where my foot doesn't fall asleep. It's practice. Your foot's not asleep? Mm -mm. I was looking forward to this all day. I thought you were going to go to the gym today. What happened? Mmm. The timing of filming this wouldn't have worked out. Okay. Because I'm really... Well, oh my gosh, it's almost 7. I'm really shooting to, like, post it tonight, which requires me to oh, edit it and Because today's the actual the anniversary. Actual day, yeah. July 20... What day is it today? 29? No, 26? 27. 27. Is it so? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, it's 27 because Saturday's 29. <laughs> even these pieces, even though there's not that much meat, there's still the mm. sauce on it. Okay, here's a trivia question. Which mukbang have I repeated? Like food wise? Mm hmm. Crab. Yeah, that's easy, huh? Is that it? Sushi. Mm hmm. I forgot about sushi. Fried chicken. Well, fried chicken is like KFC, Popeyes, loosely, Korean yeah. fried chicken. Mm hmm. Mm, I did Alfredo and spaghetti. Mm. But I haven't done pasta in a while. You would think I would have gained weight in a year, but I think because of the wedding, I lost some weight, but I've been doing mm, maybe less mukbangs, right? Less mukbang, but definitely more food. I don't know how that's possible. Well, like what you said earlier, I mean, your mukbang is not like eating the horse and the mom, you know? <laughs> Why didn't you use a horse? Don't people say that? What's the saying? Oh, I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but... You added the mom part. <laughs> the horse and the mom. Definitely even more. Oh my god, you have to eat this. Uh -huh. I'm okay. I, I ate a lot. Mm.
Oh, this one's a good one, though. Are you sure you don't want to bite? Okay. We're done with the shrimp? No. Oh, no, we're almost done. Oh, I don't. I was just asking. I'm okay oh. right now. Are we going to eat the cake on camera or save that for later? It's up to you, boss. Maybe we should eat like a sliver. Can't believe you bought a whole cake though. It's a small cake. It is. Was that your first choice? Doesn't it actually doesn't seem like a flavor you would pick. That's why I'm kind of... Well, they had other cakes. So they had like the Cheesecake Factory cake, which looked good. But um, I think for like on camera, it would have just looked like a white thing, you know? Oh. Oh, so you did it on looks. And then the other cakes are like the really big ones. Oh, like the sheet cake. So for this size cake, they only had two. Flavors. One's a lemon and this one. And you know um, how I feel like about lemon and dessert. Mm -hmm. They don't belong. I want to say that you've had one dessert that had lemon in it that you didn't mind, but I don't yeah, remember. Yeah, I don't remember. It was good, but normally, I'm not a big fan of lemon and dessert. Um, same goes with mint and chocolate for me. Mm -hmm. That doesn't belong either. Even if it's ice cream, huh? Yeah. Although, ironically, I don't mind those Andy's chocolate mints. I don't know why. I just have a good memory of them. Mm. So when I see them, I, I'm like, I get happy. But, I'm like, but it's not like I would buy it myself. No. Yeah. I feel like the only time I ever eat those is when we go to Olive Garden. And we mm. never go to Olive Garden. I'm glad this is here because you can't see who ate more. <laughs> <laughs> Did I miss anything? I can't get up right now. Yeah, there's all these pieces here. Don't want it? Yeah. What other food would be good, but we haven't tried? Um, octopus. Ooh. Octopus. On camera? Mm -hmm. I would want to eat Korean barbecue. On camera? Mm-hmm. Or... Well, I guess that could be the next phase, but I don't think we're committed to it yet, is the ones where people cook and then they eat it right after. I can't do that, though. All right, thank you guys so much for joining us for this very special mukbang. Um, hopefully you guys stick around for another year if I'm doing this in a year or two. Do you think I'm gonna stick with this? Of course, this is your thing. <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoyed this mukbang. If you did, please make sure you give us a thumbs up. Uh, comment down below what you wanna see me eat next. I have a whole other year to plan out. Um, so I'm really excited to do this again and subscribe so you guys don't miss out on any updates in the near future and we'll see you guys very soon bye